Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Developing your masculine power. Developing your masculine power. Now, power is important. Masculine because y'all got Johnsons. You know, that's the very nature. And you know, masculinity is, that's a primal force. And it's a primal force that exists in all men. But it's in a dormant state in most men. And, you know, that's more, you know, that would, you know, why it's in a dormant state just briefly is just because of the environment that we live in, the culture that we live in. It's very suppressive to natural masculinity to real men. And, you know, to really get into that, that's another conversation. And, you know, and people have seen it anyway. So I'm talking more about how to overcome that, to bring forth the masculine force that's already within you. Now, some people it might be easier, some people it might be harder, but, you know, when I when I talk about self-improvement, it's really about evolution. Every man can evolve to his best self. That's what he's supposed to do. So when you talk about developing your masculine power, there are four uh, basic areas where I talk about this, where it's important. Now, I'm known for the body game, but that's bigger than just using it to attract women. It plays a big role in attracting women, of course. And I've said that numerous times. And my uh, the books I have that focus on relationships deal with that. So I don't have to repeat that. But, but the very nature of man is to physically do stuff, to be able to physically handle himself, to be able to physically go out and fight an enemy. Let me say that again, to physically go out and fight an enemy or to, to defend himself and or his family and his loved ones against an enemy. And then when you talk about hunting, he has to be able to physically hunt. He has to be able to physically do. And I don't care what it is because everything else, you know, he might be able to sit around maybe for the mental part, but he still got to go out. You still got to handle yourself in the streets. If we're going to put that in modern terms, every single man needs to be able to physically handle himself in the streets. Physically. Now, I know we live in a culture where it, you know, we're not battling each other or anything, but you never know when you get into it, you know. And you got to be able to to physically do things, to physically take action. If you decide you need to uh, solve a problem or something, you can't just sit there and say, ooh, let it happen. And you just sit there. No, it it don't work that way. No matter what, you have to do something on a physical thing. So a man needs to develop himself physically. That's not just aesthetics, but that's just the ability to do. So that's not only maybe um, exercise, learning martial arts, lifting weights or something like that, but also taking care of the inside of his body. The more he's able to do that, the more he's able to take action in any of the endeavors he needs to take action in. So that's just the physical aspect now, of course, I always talk about that. And like I say, it's deeper than just, uh, you know, getting a woman. Way deeper. Plays a part, but there's other stuff. You know, if you got if you got to charge into action or if there's an emergency, say you see a burning building and you see some children that have to be rescued, you have to be able to physically fight through all that to rescue them. Or to take action, or or to say something, or or to be physically able to hand you, handle yourself if someone were to attack you physically. So that's physical power, you know. You gotta develop that. You gotta develop mental power. What is mental power for a man? Our main thing is being able to think logically and rationally. Left brain. That's our main thing. Yes, we have emotion, but it's not to the same extent as women. And women, their mission in life involves more emotion. We're the ones got to be cold-blooded about stuff and think about stuff. We're the ones who have to plan. We're the ones who have to, we see a problem or we have a goal for the future. We're the ones who have to sit back and think about the steps that uh, do it to get there. To think. To think about it. 
and to be able to do so without the unnecessary influence of emotion. That's where the power comes in. When a man can calmly, cool and calmly look at something and he can think his way out of the problem or think about a solution to the problem, that's where the power is. If a man isn't thinking, that's because he's in his emotions, he's in his feelings. That's not power. <laughs> you can't solve anything when you're in your feelings because you're responding to the feelings. Instead of Because the uh, thinking man, the true thinking man, the th- man using his mental power, he's the one who can, he can sit down and write down a plan. And he knows how to develop it. So you want to develop that, one, be able to think without emotion, but in also being able to learn stuff, to be able to see a situation, learn from situations, put that in your memory bank, and then go forward the times you need. You can pull it out and say, okay, this is what happened in the past. This is what happened in this situation. Okay, this is how I'm going to solve this situation because I used that uh, back thinking or that, you know, those past events as a template. In fact, a truly well-thinking man, mental, using his thing, he could actually predict future outcomes. That's how deep it can get. But at the very least, a man needs to be able to think his way rationally out of any situation that he has and to do what's necessary through his mind. So, you know, that's the mental aspect. Then there is the... In this culture, the economic aspect, because the culture we live in, you have to be able to make money. Now, if we lived in an indigenous culture, you know, that would translate as the ability to hunt for your food. But in this culture, the overwhelming majority of people don't have to do that. And even the people who do hunt for their food, the men and really women, but we're talking about men, the men who hunt for their food usually just do so for sport. They don't have to hunt. So, but you do, a man has to be able to put a roof over his own head. He has to be able to, if he needs a vehicle, to get it. He needs to be able to, you know, if he has to provide, if he has to get for whatever he has to get, that costs money. So he has to develop his economic power, his ability to get money. This ain't saying he got to be a millionaire or something. Shit, somebody can win a lottery be a millionaire. But he has to have the ability to work, to trade his services for a certain amount of money. That's power right there. If you have those skills in order to make money, that's real power, especially in a culture where you have a critical mass of people who are unemployed and can't make that money. So that's a power right there just to be able to make it. It's not the money itself that's a power. It's the ability to get it. And then use it. But the first thing you got to do is get it. It's not just having it. Some people get money and get rid of it. And part of their economic power is once you have the ability to get it, how you use it. That's a power, too, what you put your tools in. right? And I'm going to get into how that's connected to the mental aspect and even the physical aspect. And then the fourth power a man must have is in the sexual realm. Human beings are built to mate. You got plenty of people act like that's not important, but the human race would have ended a long time ago. The dominant race on this planet, well, it wouldn't be homo sapiens. So that's that's a primal thing. That's a primal thing. That's a primal desire. And particularly if a man, uh, even if a man just simply want to, like, have a legacy into the future. Now, he has to develop his sexual power. That's one that's developing his sexual being, the ability to attract the type of women he wants to. And then being able to deal with those type of women, that's power. You know, that's what people call, you know, that's what the majority of people call alpha. You know, now, you know, in my, you know, I'll use the term select, but it's the same. They really interchangeable in a way. They mean the same general things. You want to be at least dominant in your world to deal with your tribe of women. So that's power. Now, when you put all four of those together, they have to, it's not, if you give just one, you handicap because you might not have the other. Like you might be like, you might be a physical specimen, but shit, 
you for some reason you don't have the mindset to make money. So what good is it? Or you could be a mental giant. You could think like you got some people out here now. They could think in the future they could see all this stuff. But then they have what people call the paralysis of analysis. You know, they don't have that physical thing to take action. Or that ruthless thing, because that's part of the economic thing, to go get that money. You know, and then you got some people, shoot, they get their sexual power off the chains. But then, <laughs> but then they might, there is a good chance they have the physical thing there. But, you know, that physical thing might not be developed to be able to be a warrior. And then their mental thing might not be there and the economic thing ain't there, but they can rock those worlds, you know. And that's a lot of people. A lot of people, like most men, honestly, most men, if they're lucky, develops one of those. Usually most men only develop like a partial bit of one of them. That's what hurts a lot of men. Now, the ultimate thing is to be at that highest level. The ultimate thing is to be at that highest level. Now, check this out. Check this out. Someone listening might think or listening a long time might think of something new or whatever. No, I've talked about this before. The house of the man. Develop that. So anyway, that's all I have for today. All I did was just give you the same basic information I've talked about before, but just broke it down even further. So anyway, develop your masculine power. Peace. Peace.